Now, something you have, may have not seen yet is what are you supposed to do when the absolute value is not already by itself? Well, if you have things that are times your absolute value, like a negative, or maybe you have things that are added to your absolute value, like maybe plus 12, okay, your job is to remove those first. So you could treat this entire absolute value uh, item as a single variable and just remove the things around it. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides and show that negative absolute value of x plus 4 is now equal to negative 9. Then I can remove this negative by dividing by a negative 1 or multiplying by a negative 1. That would work as well. And that isolates my absolute value and gets it all by itself equal to positive 9. Since this 9 is positive, we can continue solving this. If after these steps above, once your absolute value is isolated, you end up with a negative number on the right, we would have to stop and say no solution. But since it's positive, and distance is always positive, we can continue. We said at this point, using the word or, we're going to copy what's inside the absolute value, x plus 4. We're going to set it equal to the opposite of this number, which is negative 9. Or, we're going to copy what's inside this absolute value and set it equal to the positive of that number.